Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm Elmo. And I'm the biggest fish in the pond, I'm Tuna. Um, welcome back. So we're going to be talking about last week's games and what happened, who scored goals, anyone got sent off, any controversies. And we're also going to be telling you how our predictions went for that game as well. Okay, so um, we've got... Uh, Newcastle versus Chelsea, which was Saturday, uh, 12.30 kickoff. Um, Newcastle nil, Chelsea 2. Yeah, Chelsea benefiting from a early own goal from Fernandez before Abraham added a late-ish second on the 65th minute. Chelsea had many, many chances in this game and just couldn't seem to take them. Partly because of Cardalo in fantastic form, some yeah. fantastic plays from him. But also some because of their own wastefulness. I mean, they had 14 shots, but only three on target. And this is something we've mentioned before about Chelsea, is they sometimes struggle to convert. I, I, I mean, everyone's been raving about Werner, but I'm, he's getting the shots, but they're not... They're not some. They're not the shots that you'd expect from a striker of his caliber. You know, there's, no. there's no venom in them. They're just like. There was two pretty big chances he had that I can think of. One where he got played through one on one with a goalkeeper from the edge area, and he fired it wide. Mm. And another one where he broke through the other side trap, one on one with a keeper again, and tried to square it instead of shooting. And he is a player that's been scoring the past few weeks, and he looks like a player with no confidence at all. Mm. Uh, he did assist Abraham's goal, which was a very nice goal in my opinion. A lovely take from Abraham to give himself a better angle and, and place it in off the post. It was a good run from Werner as well. It, it kind of the, the defense just didn't kind of put any chance uh, any tackle in. It, it literally ran in between two of them, and they didn't even put a foot out. Uh, but the no. first goal, there was like there was unsure whether that were going to get disallowed or not. Um, it was actually, like I say, it was an own goal, but he fell over himself. Yeah, at first look, I I did say, oh, this this is going to get reviewed, but as soon as he showed the replay, there's no push there at all from yeah. Chilwell. It, it was it was kind of tripping over himself before Chilwell was even anywhere near him. Yeah, I, and it's one of them. He felt a touch in the back and and yeah. went down. It's never going to be given. Um, Newcastle definitely missed Callum Wilson in this game. Yeah. Uh, out with a hamstring injury. They only had one shot on target the entire game, only eight shots, just 29% possession as well at home. Obviously, no fans at the moment, but Newcastle are generally one of them teams that rely on their home form. And they've now lost five of the last seven at home, so maybe a bit of a worry for Steve Bruce. I think... Like quite a few teams at the moment, they're very hit and miss. You know, there's some games where they've lost this season, but they deserve more. You know, go back to the Man United game; they definitely deserve more. They they looked a lot better in the first half. Um, but there's some games where they definitely deserve to lose, and this was definitely yeah. one of them. It it definitely was. Like I say, if it wasn't for Carl Darlow again, who we've mentioned a few times this season as well, some fantastic saves from him uh, one actually getting down low to push a Werner shot wide and another smart save from a Abraham header but yeah say the, it's a worry for them the poor defensively as you said with Werner running through creating nothing in an attack and dropping down the table yeah that puts them in 15th place now um, Chelsea uh, now up to third um, you know, the, I keep putting pressure on Frank Lampard, and there's definitely a lot of pressure on Frank Lampard. So he'll definitely be happy with this result. Um, I'm not so much because I predicted three one. I got one point for a win, but uh, I didn't really get the, anywhere near the correct score. Yeah, I had two one to Chelsea, so I got a point as well. I ju I just needed a a goal for Newcastle. <laughs> i say without Wilson, they don't particularly look like scoring. Uh, but also, Mendy in goal for Chelsea. It's now seven clean sheets and nine appearances for them. And it looks like they may have found their keeper. 
Yeah. Um, spent far too much on two keepers, though, especially to drop one of them. But, um, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll see how Chelsea do. The You know, they're getting the wins in at the moment, but it, anything could happen. Yeah, I mean, obviously this game put them top briefly for a few hours. Um, and they've won three in a row now in the league. So obviously that is pretty promising for them because they've had a few up and down moments. They still have pretty key players to come back as well from injury. Uh, obviously there was no Thiago Silva in this game. He'd been left out after international duty. Uh, Pulisic is still out injured. Obviously he's a fantastic player. So they've definitely got players to come back and potentially do stuff for them and, and help them challenge for the title. Uh, as we say plenty of times before, it's it's up in the air this season. It's anyone's game. Yeah, but they're also one of them teams, uh, you know, there's a small handful of teams that uh, the fixtures are definitely piling up with uh, you know Champions League or any Euro- European competition at the moment as well as the the Premier League games. Um, so it, I think this season it's definitely going to be a case of who's got the, the best squad that they can utilise. Um, so, And I, I think one of the biggest issues for Chelsea is they're not getting results against the big six teams. Yeah. The um, beating teams, you expect them to beat, but... Yeah, they, they were very poor against us. Um, we, we would very poor as well, but it wasn't very good against us uh, to say that we're the club that everyone's looking at as uh, failing big time. So, um, But that, yeah. that, caught, that draw kind of pushed them to get, go on a three-win streak. So It has, and like we say, they were in pretty patchy form before that two three-all draws against Southampton and West Brom. And maybe they've, they've eradicated that. I mean, if they take some of the chances that they're creating, then they should be pretty positive about the rest of the season. But I could say Werner seems to be taking a little bit longer to adapt to English football than I think Chelsea hoped. I could say he's definitely getting chances, but he's not as clinical as they want him to be. Yeah. Which is pretty crazy to say, really, yeah, when you consider he's their top scorer on eight goals. But he he should be in double figures pretty easily. Yeah, definitely. Right, guys, that's it for this video. Um, please go and check all the other videos out for the games from last week. Please check out our predictions video as well, which is us predicting what we think will happen in next week's games. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, throw some comments in on who you think is going to be winning. Um, what you thought of the games um, any ideas that you want to see on the channel or anything like that check everything out in the description um, all our socials and links for our YouTubes and everything like that are in there um, anything from you Tuna? No, you pretty much say follow our Twitters <laughs> come and talk to us on Twitter come talk football on Twitter let us know who you support where you think you're going to finish this season. Obviously, it's a crazy season, so anything can happen. Yep. Like I say, go and check all of the videos out, and we'll see you next weekend. Bye. Bye-bye.